about your rabbit. This is the complete health and happiness check for the standard rabbit. This is a food bowl. Every <laughs> rabbit has one, unless they're on a plain diet of grass or hay. But they should really have some of food. It looks a bit like this. Has pellets and things in, but if the <coughs> rabbit food that you have is just nuggets or pellets or muesli, that's fine. If your rabbit hasn't been eating its food, it's because it's either unhappy, ill or lonely. First of all, change the food. If you're still not eating it, get him a companion. And if you can't be fussed with an extra pet, you might just want some toys and some chewies and things like that. And then, if they're still unwell, you might want to take it to the vets for a simple check over. Every rabbit needs to drink. The standard rabbit bottle looks like this. A rabbit will drink out of a bowl, but they don't like to. They prefer to drink out of a bottle. You can get these from about one to two pounds in the standard pack shops. Rabbit shampoo. If your rabbit's a bit dirty or something, you might just want to get them some shampoo and every couple of months just bathe them in some warm water, applying the shampoo slowly. Let's meet the rabbits. This is Dotty. He's got Dot's eyes back there. That's him, Dotty. And this is my little sister's rabbit. And these two guinea pigs are mine. Uh, but they're his companions because, like we say, he was a bit lonely and he needed some friends. Dotty is about one to two years old, so he's quite young for a rabbit. Rabbits can live up to five or six years. If they die any younger, it, you haven't done anything wrong. It's they they just can sometimes die. Um, unfortunately, a rabbit recently passed away because she had had <coughs> babies and, the, and the, her babies died. The stress of it, unfortunately, made her die. This is Flopsy. My rabbit, so He is a lion head Dutch crossbreed. He's black and white, but mainly black. He is about a year old, possibly a bit younger with his hair <laughs> and he has got floppy ears that's where the name <coughs> comes from and he's earlier than midlife he likes simple rabbit muesli and hates baths and he doesn't have a companion he doesn't have a companion because some rabbits they just don't want friends this is Smokey my mum's rabbit he was the runt of the litter but as you can see it didn't stay like that for long he was called Smokey because he was grey <coughs> Now he's grown up, he's completely black. He's also a line head Dutch, as you can see with the hair. If your rabbit or guinea pig has got any bald patches, it's because they've been scrapping. If not, it's because they've been rubbing themselves against their cages. This is a single story <coughs> rabbit touch. There is usually a roof, but that's uh, obviously not. We've had to take the roof off just to do this video. These are like the This toys is you a can buy. Corrugate, corrugated tunnel. It's just. Um, it's good for the rabbit to um, sharpen their teeth on, to break down their claws, and <coughs> they just like it when they're bored. That's we'll now show you how to do the check on a rabbit. We'll, na we'll first start with Dotty. These rabbits are all boys, um, and they're all in separate cages. You can get the boys done so they don't fight as much, but I'd advise you to just get them a guinea pig companion sometimes. You start with the ears. If they're not yellow... These ears are pricky uppy. If they're yellow inside, that's <coughs> a sign of infection or dirt. So you might just want to give them a little wash. That's... These are fine. These are these ears are fine. That's good. We'll start... He we'll, needs a wash. He does need a wash, yes. He has no ball patches. And also, as you can see, when you ruffle his fur up, it's the same colour all the way round, which is very if good. If it isn't, he's either been scrapping or he's got... Like long worm or something like that. If they if have long worm, you can get some special pills from <coughs> pet shop. We got some because <coughs> the previous the previous guinea pig I had, he got long worm and they all had to have a jab of it because they, the guin his their, the guinea pig's dad had it and they unfortunately didn't. he also passed away from long worm. But he was very old. He was old, yes. So it wasn't. We'll now check the claws. As you can see, I've got scratches everywhere. We've Ooh. got scratches from the um, <coughs> rabbits. Look, that's my... They do need a cut. They do need a cut, so they should be quite a bit shorter than that. They should be about you can one to two centimetres long. If they would, if they are fine with you cutting them shorter, you do so. But <coughs> never, ever cut them to the point of bleeding. 
You can also, instead of cutting them, if you put a piece of wood or like a smooth piece of wood in their cage, as you can see from here. You can't just get any old piece of wood. No. You can buy wood, a block of wood, almost like a log, for about three or four pounds from pet shops. <laughs> if you, you look on the corners of the cage, they've bit them with their teeth and stuff. You might think them. you could just get any old log from the garden, but trust me, it's worth getting a proper one because they've been treated, trimmed and coated. It might not look like it, but it it's a lot safer to get a proper Lock. And then there's the belly. <coughs> this one will let you me. have to check his. This one won't let us, so we'll try with the teeth, but they won't let you do that. Um, with the teeth, you have to put have two a pen. Before. A rabbit has four teeth. Put a pen between the two top teeth and the two bottom teeth. Put <coughs> it behind them. You might think you're hurting the rabbit, but you have to. If your rabbit's teeth are too long. <laughs> You Sorry, can get rabbit escape. Rabbit escape. He's not gone too far. You can get something that looks like garden pliers, but don't actually use garden pliers because they're way too sharp. You can get a special thing that looks like garden pliers that cut the teeth. Try not to cut to the point of bleeding, and if you do, dab it with a cloth and don't cut any more. You need. You may need two people to do it. That's why we're not doing it today because you need. Two he does need his teeth cutting, but as also for the teeth. Wood Just shoes, sweet dried sweet corn, sun dried sweet corn. Also for their underbelly, he won't let you do it, but make sure that. Un oh, there we go. Make sure his underbelly is completely covered in fur. If it's not, your rabbit's been scrapping or it's not well. We'll now show you how to do the same thing but with a long haired rabbit. This is Flopsy. This is Flopsy. Before. He's got long ears, so the ear check might be a little <coughs> bit harder. Prick them up a bit like... And his fun. ears are automatic. Prick them up a bit like that. His ears are perfectly... <laughs> These are perfectly... Fine. These are perfectly clean, which is very good. He's got no ball patches. He might look like he has what? That's white. That's white. It's the colour. He's more coloured. He's more coloured, yes. The underbelly. Just rub his belly up and down and up and down to check. His teeth will grow a lot faster than a normal rabbit. They, you also want to check the gleaming eyes. This one doesn't need his claws done. He's got very good claws. But Again, um, sometimes they might get balls of poo on their toes. But you just a quick bath and scratching at it will come, give it off. If you don't have any special shampoo, you want to sit them in about two inches of lukewarm water in a bathtub or in a we face bin or on both guinea pigs and rabbits and it seems to do a pretty good job because as you see there gently they're rub like away. brownish and it now we'll show you how to check the guinea pigs as you see they're a lot smaller so they're a lot harder they're a lot smaller they're a lot fidgety these are spike heads. This, this is a spiky head. Like with the rabbits, with a long haired guinea pig, it may be a bit harder, but you do the same thing as on the rabbit. With a guinea pig, the check's a bit different. You. Oops, they sorry. should have four toes. They should have four toes, but this is a special breed. Here's one. Here's a poo ball starting to develop on his toe. And this is the deformed toe. That's the deformed <laughs> All of my guinea pigs I have had, which have been bred, have, have three toes because of a rare disease yeah. in their mother. Don't but, it doesn't hurt them. As long as the toe doesn't fall off, which has happened before. A guinea pig, it'll have a few bald spots, but like that. they should be covered in fur. If they have a few bald spots, a couple of baths won't do them any harm. And then, fur head. Underbelly, that's okay if it's bald, <laughs> but it should have... Bad thing. It should have the same coloured <coughs> fur as on top if it has fur. The ears are very, very delicate. So you just want to see it's got a few chips and marks from fighting. You so just want to prick the ear up <laughs> and check that it's clean. And if it's not, you just a bit of lukewarm water. Don't put go put your fingers in. Don't go putting your fingers in there. Just run your hand across his head. Right, this one. The teeth. A um, a guinea pig's teeth shouldn't need cutting, but if it does, only cut it a little bit every time. <coughs> this is a. Girl guinea pig, as you can probably see, and um, he's checked there. Okay, you need to check if they've been breeding. You definitely need to check their nipples are okay because the little ones may hurt. This guinea pig isn't gonna let us check its teeth, so we'll try the other guinea pig. <laughs> These guinea pigs don't have names. If your guinea pig's a bit restless, you just wanna 
offer it some food and it should calm down, even if it doesn't take the food. We did have more guinea pigs for this, but sadly <coughs> they've passed away. And <coughs> the, the same check applies, but we'll, we'll get to the teeth. The teeth are very difficult to do, so let's try and show the guinea pig's teeth. We, As you can see, this is their mouth, and they do look like a little bit like chinchillas when you do them. But if you dip them up a little bit <coughs> and put your arm like this, and you do that gently, that, that his teeth are okay. We can't quite get them on camera shot, but trust mm. me, they are fine. See, we didn't quite get them, but they're fine. When you're oh wait, sorry, <coughs> this is Smokey. <coughs> we'll be. He's a restless rabbit, so we'll be showing you how to deal with a restless rabbit. <coughs> Every time I feed him, he goes for me, so if that the, might happen. If your rabbit is biting, <coughs> it's because he's unhandled, so don't be put off by being bitten. One you want fact, to be... never put two boil boy rabbits together. Unless they, they were born Unless together. Unless they were born together. Because this one has previously, if you can see, he's got like little scar on his nose from when Dotty... It's had we they had a fight and got together. This male rabbit won't let you do his teeth. He won't let you do his teeth. But if your male <laughs> rabbit is attacking or hurting, don't be put off by being bitten or scratched. You want to get your rabbit out every day or every other day if you're busy. So at least five times a week. And just give them ten minutes of your time, give them a nice fuss. And as you can see this cage is a bit dirty. It needs to clean out. It needs to clean out. Last week, you, some people clean the cages out once a week. We Others do it every other day. <coughs> if you've got a <coughs> ill rabbit, you definitely want to clean your cage out what, at least once a day. Sometimes twice a day if it's really bad, and that just makes handling the mess a bit easier. This one's toes do definitely need done. He, but yeah, I'll put a piece of wood in for them tonight if he, I can find some. This is its claws can, and. <laughs> With its claws, you just want to trim, like I said, never cut to the point of blood. When you're placing the food bowl in, you don't want to put it in their poo corner because all animals, most rabbits and guinea pigs choose a corner. So you want to put it in the opposite corner of their poo corner. You'll have, if you get a proper bottle, they come with a wire. They do clean themselves quite a bit if they're in a new cage because this is Smokey's cage, but we've had to use it for the... Pigs, because we couldn't put anywhere else. And you just put the, you put the bottle on like that, and, and we're going to say goodbye to Flopsy because he's going to have to go back. Flopsy's in his bed off now. back in his cage, and this is a average layout. If you get a cut or a bruise from a rabbit, it would swell up like that. If your cut or bruise starts to bleed. You want to go quickly get a baby wipe or antiseptic wipe and gently pad it and put a plaster on. Okay, that's all from us. We'll be back with more YouTube videos on animal care.